Hey guys, and here we are back with another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And again, with Home Assistant, which is just a beautiful software. So a huge thumbs up to the developers, community, and everyone that enriches the software. Now, today we are going to add Grafana to Home Assistant with one goal in mind. We do love here Shelly EM, which is a device, I will leave a link right over here, that will measure power consumption of our house. And if you have solar panels, then it will measure as well. And it has a great software, great automatization that we can do a lot with it. But it lacks one thing, in my opinion, which is graphics, at least graphics with some detail. And we are going to get that using Home Assistant and Grafana. Now, before we start, just the general idea is we will need home assistant if you don't know how to install how to use it then check some links right over here where we have installed on the raspberry pi on a windows computer on a mini computer with windows 10 and so on and so forth besides that we will need to use InfluxDB, which is a database management tool and grafana and it's not difficult if you follow up i will try to explain as best as i can in a sense that you will not have to memorize, but only understand a few steps. And after that, you'll be on your own, ready to use, and you will not need this video anymore. Unfortunately, but you won't need. And that is the goal. Guys, that being said, let's start with a fresh installation of Home Assistant. The only thing that I did install right over there was the file editor. And if you haven't installed yet, then you can go to the supervisor, go to Adam Store, you'll find the file editor. And by the way, we will need to install InfluxDB. So let's search for InfluxDB and press install. Once we have installed, then we will select one option, which is to show in sidebar, which is very useful. It's a shortcut. Then we will go to the configuration and where it says SSL, we will uh, delete true and put on false and save. Next, we go to the configuration menu or the initial menu and press start and let it go. Now, while we are here, let's go to the tab where it says documentation and scroll down to a place where you see some lines of code. Started with InfluxDB, two points and then host and so on and so forth. So let's copy all that, go to the file editor and then on the file editor, open the configuration YAML and just paste everything that we copy it. Now, once we paste, we can change the database name, username and password. In my particular case, I put it Roberto, Roberto and password. That was it for this particular tutorial. Now, let's go to InfluxDB and then on InfluxDB, let's select Influx Admin and let's create a database. In this particular case, I will need to put the name that I've already selected, which was Roberto. Let's create the username as well. And in my particular case, I did select Roberto. And once we create the username, uh, as you can see right over there, the permissions are none. So we will need to select all and save and also select the password for the uh, username or the user that we just created. And regarding InfluxDB, which was the hardest part, this is it ready to go easy right let's go back to the supervisor add on store and search for grafana install and then we will select once again show in the sidebar let's go to the configuration once again where we see ssl true let's change that to false save let's go to the info panel and press on start and before we go to the grafana tab let's go to file editor and go to the configurations yaml and let's copy where it says host that address right over there because we are going to need it once we have copied let's go to the grafana on the left panel let's go to configuration and data sources let's add a data source let's select influx db and then the name it's up to you but we can just leave it as it is i left it influx DB or influx, can't recall right now. Scroll down, you'll find something which is called URL, and you will need to type HTTP dot dash dash, paste whatever you have copied from the file editor, and then followed by two points, 8086. 
Now scroll down, go to the influx details and put on where it says database. In my particular case, I will put Roberto. In username, I will put Roberto and on password, I will put password. But this is something that you have selected and you have used on the previous menu. So just use the same that you selected. Save and test. And this is the moment of truth. If everything is fine, then you will see two green lights and everything will be off. Okay. But if you see something red, then usually what it is, is a password or username that it's wrong somewhere. Because we have used on Configuration YAML, we have used on InfluxDB and also on Grafana. So there are a few chances that we might make a mistake, a typo mistake and somewhere around there you will find it, you will fix it, safe and you will be ready to go. But before we move on, we will need to restart the server. So let's just go to the configuration, server control and then restart. And once we restart, we are ready to create our first graphic. Now, having that said, what we need to do is go to Grafana, create a dashboard, add a panel. And in this particular case, I'm going to press the plus button and select entity ID. I'm going to use the Shelly EM by selecting tag value and Shelly EM power one, which is the thing that I want to measure. Now I want to select the measure, which is what, and where it says fill null, I want to select that to linear so that I have a better looking graphic. And this is it. I've got my first graphic created. But this is just regarding power consumption of our house. What I want to do as well is the power production. So I will repeat all these steps by adding a new query. But instead of selecting Shelly EM Power 1, I will select Shelly EM Power 2. And I will have two lines on my graphic, one of which is the power consumption and the other one is the power production. And guys, this is it. These are the bases. Of course, we can do a lot, a lot more with Grafana. We can do some several different graphics and scenarios and so on and so forth. But this was the goal of this video, to improve a little bit better the Shelly EM in terms of graphics so that we can analyze at the end of one week, two weeks, a few months, how is our habits and how is our production, what we need to adjust and so on and so forth. And that is it. Hopefully this video was helpful in some way and if it was, don't forget the usual thumbs up. If I forgot to leave some links right over here, just go to the channel and search for Solar or Smart Home or Shelly or something like that. You will find a lot of the tools that we have done here regarding all these devices and home automation and so on and so forth. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.